HGTV. Today I will be showing you Invertex OptiDrive Single Phase AC Drive from Bardak. These single phase VFDs are intended for single phase shaded pole and permanent split capacitor motors. This can be ideal for fans, blowers, centrifugal pumps, fume extractors, and airflow controllers. It is rated up to 0.75 horsepower at 110 volts and 1.5 horsepower at 230 volts. For setting up the drive, I will put my common and hot wires into the top and my ground on the third input. I can connect the wires going to the motor in the same way on the output side of the drive. And enable will also need to connect terminal 1 and terminal 2. I can then apply power to the inputs. The display should indicate the operational status at stop. I will push and hold the navigate key for a couple of seconds to access the parameters. Some of these parameters I will not change and just check to see if the values are correct. P-1 is the maximum frequency. I will push the navigate button and see that the drive is set at 60 Hz. I will push the navigate button again to save and then push up to P-2. Here is the parameter for minimum frequency. I will take a look at the value to check to see if this is at the value desired. Since I would like this at zero, I will hold down the arrow until it displays zero and then press the navigation button to save. P-3 is acceleration time. This is currently set to 5 seconds, the default value. I will advance to P-4 and check this value too. It is also set to 5 seconds and I will keep it at that value. Next is P-5 for the stopping method of the drive. I can choose between ramp to stop or coast to stop. The default is coast to stop on this drive. Moving forward, I will go to P7. From P7 to P10 is where I will plug in my motor data. This information is typically printed on the nameplate of your motor and will differ from motor to motor. The motor I have is a fan from EBM PAPS rated for 115 volts with 0.23 amps at 60 Hz. P7 is where I will plug in my voltage. I will change this value to 115 volts. Next is P8 for motor rated current. I will change this value to 2 amps. Next is P9 for motor rated frequency. I will check to see if this value is 60 Hz for North American industries. Since it is at 60 Hz, I will continue to P10 for my motor rated speed. For some motors, it may be necessary to adjust to the default value of zero. Doing this will also eliminate the slip compensation for the motor. I will make the changes and continue to the next parameter. I will give a quick overview on what they are. P11 is the starting voltage boost. P12 is the primary command source which allows me to set up an external controller, Modbus, or PI control. The P12 is currently set to 1 for my keypad to be used for start and stop commands, but the default is set to an external controller. Next is P13 for trip log history, and the last parameter, P14, is the extended menu access code and allows me to unlock an extra set of parameters. To get the extra parameters, I will scroll to 101. This is the default value to unlock parameters and this access code can be changed with P37 to prevent unauthorized access. Unlocking this allows for a greater set of parameters that include output relay functions, preset frequencies, digital and analog inputs, skip frequency, restart function, brake chopper, and PI control. With just the standard parameters, my motor data is programmed into the drive, and I can push the start button to run the drive. I can use the keypad to ramp the motor up to my desired speed. Pressing the stop key will stop the drive, where it will coast to a stop. Invertex OptiDrive Single Phase AC Drive from Bardak along with thousands of other products and services are available at galco.com.